Man, it's it's been quite some time. It's been some time since I've hit record. And you know what? I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm just going to start the video just by saying I'm sorry. I know a lot of y'all have been thinking like, B, where have you been? You haven't uploaded anything. It's been like a month, month and a half. Like, what's going on, buddy? We need We need the content. And you know what? I'm asking myself the same question. And... Although the past few weeks have just been very busy, just a lot going on, it's no excuse. No excuse. I should have been present and I wasn't. And I apologize for the delay, the lack of uploads. I am truly sorry. <laughs> but before we get into everything, I just want to say, hey, my name is Brian. I am a photographer and content creator living in raleigh north carolina and i'm just here documenting my journey of creating a life worth living whether that be spiritually mentally physically emotionally and a large portion of that is being active with my planner actually writing down my goals writing down my to-do list writing down my task and being intentional about going and moving forward and making plans to actually achieve the things that i want to achieve and so if you like the sound of that then you know what to do so I'm trying a different type of like, recording style this time. I'm really trying to make this a, a lot more unscripted. I know a couple of videos back or my last plan with me, actually, I told you guys that I would be doing my plan with me's in a couple of different ways just to kind of see what you guys like, what you don't like, how I can tweak things to be able to make the content that you guys love and that I love at the same time. And so I'm just trying some different things out. And so I decided to record this plan with me video a little bit more podcast style you know just kind of unscripted off the cuff and just just being here <laughs> you know what i'm saying just kind of stream of consciousness speaking um and so yeah we're gonna try it out drop a comment let me know what you like do you prefer and a lot of you guys did this in the last video but do you prefer um like a do you prefer the more tailored approach to your plan with me videos do you like the chatty unscripted type of plan with me do you prefer like some chill background music like asmr style plan with me videos like what what type of plan with me videos do you guys like because i do want to be able to kind of tailor uh, my content to make sure that i'm creating things that you love and that i love at the same time and so we can kind of meet in the middle and compromise there <laughs> but yeah so elephant in the room and i feel like i've been saying this at the beginning of like every month <laughs> right now but i i just haven't been able to pick up the camera and don't get me wrong i did film some content last month last month i did film my may plan with me and i filmed um my may cloth and paper subscription unboxing um i never got around to quite editing the unboxing it's it was just a crazy month last month with just trying to get caught up with photography my clients i had a super busy uh, workload client load on in august sorry not august wow Whew, i'm trying to jump into the future this year is flying by already so i'm trying to stay present uh, i'm i'm trying to stay in june but <laughs> um i had a pretty busy client load in april and may and i just over the past couple of weeks, I've just been trying to get caught up with all my editing and getting my galleries delivered and all of that. Um, and so I never got around to editing the uh, May Cloth and Paper unboxing, but I did actually film and attempt to edit my May plan with me. So I filmed my plan with me one day. And then while I was traveling last month, at the very beginning of May, I ended up going to Louisville, Kentucky. Had an amazing time there. I love Louisville. If you're from Louisville or from Kentucky and you or you've ever visited Louisville, then you just know how cozy the city feels. And like they have a good food scene and it was amazing. But I got hired to do a graduation at Bellarmine University. Um, not their main commencement, but um, it was more so like department mental graduation. So they hired me or the office of um, inclusion. They hired me to do 
photos at their multi multicultural graduation. So honoring all the graduates that are people of color. And then they also had me photograph their, what they call their Lavender Awards, which um, is a graduation ceremony uh, highlighting their LGBT students and so um, they hired me to do those and then some of the students wanted photos at the beginning of the week so I was in Louisville for an entire week away from home and it was a good time I, I was missing home and homesick by the end of the week but um <laughs> had a really good time there got to connect with some amazing people the students were amazing and um yeah so maybe i'll be building a client base there in louisville and be able to travel there a little bit more but anyway back to my point <laughs> while i was traveling to louisville i actually film um recorded my voiceover for that video and i did it without realizing that i had my phone connected to the car and so the audio when i went to go edit the video it just it was it, it was it was horrible and you guys might not have mind so much but i i absolutely did <laughs> i absolutely did it it just it wasn't up to to, to standard and i didn't want to put out a video where the audio was just lacking so i never got around to re-recording that voiceover which means i never got around to actually posting my may plan with me but I, I absolutely did it i i intended to but like the whole reason why i wanted to record the voiceover while i was traveling is because i knew i would be busy in uh, may and i just wanted to go ahead while i was traveling just to multitask and and um get that video out and it just it just didn't happen and like i knew that once that i re realized the audio was distorted that there would be no way that i would have time to actually or even remember <laughs> to um what what i was even addressing in the voiceover and it just it just became a thing so again i'm sorry about that it 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 just <laughs> It wasn't a thing, but um, for those of you who are subscribed to the Cloth and Paper Intentions box, what were your favorite items from the box last month? I didn't get to address any of that in my unboxing video because I never got it uploaded, but <laughs> like, what, what did you guys love from that box? And there was a couple of things that I loved, but my favorite thing, hands down, which I'm really sad because when I opened my box, it was broken, but and I'll put a video on the screen or whatever so you can see. But when I, um, my favorite item was the, the fluted dashboard. That dashboard is fire and I cannot wait to use it in my second half of 2024 planner. Um, but I love that, that dashboard so much. Now there, the May subscription box, even though it was amazing, it has some amazing things in it. I do feel kind of over underwhelmed by that box, but I loved it all in all. I feel like it had a lot of things that I, I am able to use, but I really just wanted a, I wanted another bag, a duster bag with that, that box. And I, I think the duster bags are like my favorite things that come in each of the subscription boxes. And so for that one, not to have one, it was just kind of like, oh, well, I was looking forward to that, but still had some great items. I still love cloth and paper, but um, I was, I'm just so upset that my dashboard was broken when I got it. Um, but I'm still going to use it. Um, I should have reached out and said and or told them that my dashboard was broken when I got it. But I didn't. Again, I didn't get around to doing a lot of things last month. Here we are. <laughs> but um, May was a good month. Uh, how was everybody else's May? Drop a comment. Let me know. What exciting things happened in May? What are some things that you accomplished in May? Um, what Were there any things that you planned out at the beginning of May that you felt like you exceeded in or, or are there any goals? I feel like I'm talking in circles. Were there any goals that you set at the beginning of May <laughs> that you actually accomplished by the end of May? Um, did you have any big exciting news or did you have any challenges throughout the month? Drop a comment. Let me know. Let's have a conversation down in the, the, the comment section. You know how I do. I like to have that engagement down there. I like to build that community um, in the comment section and for us all to kind of feed off of each other. So um, yeah, feel free. Scroll down to the comment section. Let me know what's going on. How was your May? 
Mine was amazing. Again, I got the chance to travel to Louisville, had some great food, met some great people, got some created some great memories for some of the people that I met there. And so that was exciting. Um, and then I also traveled to um, Jacksonville in May as well. Uh, so Memorial Day weekend, I went down to Jacksonville, had an amazing time with some of my friends. Um, you guys met Kia and Lisa at the very beginning of the year. I, we traveled up to Virginia to visit Kia, um, where she lives, and uh, we just had a good weekend. And uh, so we decided to run that back <laughs> for Memorial Day weekend. That weekend in particular was extremely busy for me um because not only was i traveling uh, i think i tra I left for jacksonville that thursday um and i was back on the road headed home on sunday to make it back for my nephew's first birthday party and so it was a busy weekend filled with a lot of traveling a lot of driving for me when i travel i, I tend if i can drive i tend to want to drive just because driving is therapeutic for me but that weekend i probably should have flown because getting up at like 7 8 a.m to, to get on the road to make it to his party drive seven hours <laughs> to make it to his party by uh, four o'clock was just bananas it was crazy but I did it. I was there, try to show up for for all of my 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 family and friends. And um, if I can be there, I absolutely will. And so yeah, <laughs> I had to do what had to be done, and I got it done. And it was a great time. And um, so yeah, yeah, May was a, a great month for me. I had a couple of amazing photo shoots. I, my nephew graduated um, a couple of weeks back, and so that was exciting. We did some graduation photos for him. I photographed one of my favorite maternity sessions of all time. It was beautiful. It was so creative. She was a photographer as well. So we got the uh, opportunity to kind of bounce ideas off of each other. It was just a really good time. And yeah, yeah, that was that was my May. But I'm really excited for June. I have some some exciting things planned. I have a few photo shoots, um, some birthday shoots. I have a family shoot schedule for um for june i also did i say january before i'm sorry if i said january i don't i don't know where my mind is right now <laughs> if i said january i meant june but <laughs> amazing shoot schedule for june i have a birthday shoot i have a brand shoot a family shoot and then i think i have two birthday shoots actually um, planned so far and then it's also one of my best friend's birthday and then i have another friend his birthday is at the very end of the month and i also plan on doing some traveling again in june so i'm excited about that um me and a friend are well i have a friend that just moved up to the mountains in north carolina like murphy north carolina and so i'm traveling to go visit because i believe He's been there like a year and I was supposed to come visit and I just hadn't had the opportunity to get up there yet. And so he, we got some bars we're trying to hit. So it's going to be a good time. Um, so, yeah, I'm excited about that. I'm going for like a week there. Hopefully get some, some good photos while I'm there as well. Um, and yeah, that's really all of my plans for June so far. I, I'm looking forward to everything, but my calendar for June is, isn't as full as I would like it to be. I haven't um, been able to, previous months, like April and May, I have been able to kind of project my income with my photography business before the month even started. For June, I haven't been able to do that yet, which I know, which is, which is really weird because usually my slow season or at least in the past when i was running my photography business full time um usually like the spring like early um late winter early spring is my slow season then we get into graduation season throughout the summer so um i'm really surprised that my calendar for january isn't as booked but it could be due to the fact that i i believe during april i didn't post as much on social media or did i i can't remember let me go back and look <laughs> I don't know. I'm trying to, I'm just trying to figure out a reason why my calendar isn't full right now. Um, and just to be able to blame it on something, you know what I mean? You gotta blame something. No, April, I did a lot of posting. So I don't know. I don't know why my, my calendar isn't as, as booked as I would like it to be, but, um, 
still pretty close to my income goal. I can su- sustain with what I'm making in April. I mean, I'm sorry, in June for right now, but I just, I just like to be able to exceed those goals and so I can be able to save a little bit more. And yeah, so that's just that on that. <laughs> so last month, um, in terms of like a, um, a lot of my goals, I believe for the month of May, I wanted, you know, I do my habit tracker every month. And so I wanted to do some intermittent fasting. I wanted to make sure that I was doing the 20 to four intermittent fasting window where I have a four hour eating window, 20 hours of fasting. Um, Another one of my goals was to move every day. I feel like I've been writing that down every single month um, since the beginning of the year. And I haven't been able to actually get out and get moving every single month i'm sorry every single day throughout the month or of any month as of yet but we're still working on that so that's going to continue to be on my habit tracker every month until i'm able to accomplish that and even past then um we already know the goal is to hydrate 100 ounces every day i also had a goal to create every day whether it be just posting on social media or posting a story or actually picking up the camera, doing like a mini vlog or doing some type of short form content. Um, And then I also had a goal to cook um, three times a week, which I did. I did okay with that one as well. Um, And then I also had a goal to learn or read or follow some type of tutorial or I'm subscribed to Skillshare. Um, And so I've been wanting to learn a little bit more about photography and we're not just or not learn. I, I know a lot about photography, but I just kind of want to take in some new editing techniques or some new um, photography technical techniques or whatever. So I've been trying to make sure that I in every day I'm able to either read something that's going to help expand my knowledge or contribute to my growth or contribute to actually growing in my business and for most of these goals I'm I'm proud of myself for for what I've done in May in terms of being consistent with my goals intermittent fasting I did mostly every day the only days that I kind of struggled with the intermittent fasting was when I was actually in Louisville just because I was away from home Uh, Of course, I wasn't able to cook like that um, just because I was staying with a friend. And, you know, I just I didn't have the the flexibility to be able to or the space to be able to cook like that. And so um, it kind of fell off. I was eating for convenience while I was there. And even though uh, my friend or cousin Emily, cousin, sister, best friend, that's what I call her. But um, even though she cooked, I still was eating outside of my window because she didn't get home until the evenings. And it was just a a lot going on. So I kind of fell off of my intermittent fasting during that week. Um, As far as movement, I'm pretty damn proud. I believe I moved one, two, three, four, five, six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen i moved 18 days throughout the month and if you guys have been subscribed for a while then you already know (laughs) when it came to like my movement section on my habit tracker literally almost non-existent so i'm really i'm really proud of myself for the work i did in terms of movement for um may but hopefully june every day i'm getting some type of exercise in hydration you already know i'm I'm gonna drink my water (laughs) um i had the goal to create and i created most days throughout the month so i'm really proud of that as well um i cooked roughly three times a week with the exception of the week that i was in louisville but even i included that because i was eating a home-cooked meal um and so i did pretty good in terms of cooking for myself and then learning i I did some type of learning watching and I or watching some type of YouTube video about photography or something every, almost every day with the exception of like three the entire month. So I'm proud of myself in terms of my goals. Now, when it comes to um, posting on social media, I did do a lot of posting in May, but I could have did better. <laughs> with posting on social media but I, no you know what i take that back i did a pretty damn good job i think there were one two three four five six seven eight 
nine, ten days that I did not post anything on social media throughout the month. So I think that was pretty good. Ten out of what? Thirty one days. I'm giving myself a pat on the back for that. I was pretty consistent with posting. Um not as good not as well as I did in, in April, but hey, here we are. <laughs> but when it comes to just my growth even on social media um i've been able to see some growth even with not posting on youtube i've seen some growth i think i gained what 37 follower um subscribers on youtube in april without posting i'm sorry in may without posting so that's dope um now on instagram however i did lose followers but instagram just rolled out this new feature where you can remove ghost followers or spam or bots so i've been very intentional about removing those ghost accounts that way um you know I, it won't hurt my engagement because ghost and bots they don't they don't engage with your content and the algorithm is a real real thing and so i've been wanting to remove those followers for so long and i'm glad that instagram finally released that feature and so i'm really excited to see the growth i have there now since i have removed a lot of those those bots and spam accounts i have seen just organic growth on my instagram platform so i'm really excited about that and kind of see where that takes me over the next couple of months or so and then on tiktok i, I grew a lot so all in all it pretty pretty good i'm, I'm proud of this the work that i did in may even though i've just been kind of ghost over here on youtube but <laughs> i'm getting back into it and um yeah that's just that on that that's just that on that anyway so drop a comment let me know what are your goals for for june what do you have that you want to accomplish this month what exciting things do you have coming up this month do you have any birthdays do you have a birthday coming up this month do you have any weddings or special events or anything that you're attending like what are you looking forward to this month drop a comment let me know um for me i'm just trying to find some balance that's my goal for the month of june is to just find balance, create a routine that I'm, I'm going to love. All of my goals are pretty much the same. Um, instead of doing intermittent fasting this month, I'm trying to just follow a meal plan and just establish a better relationship with food. I feel like that's the only way that I'm going to be able to see some, some weight loss because I picked up some pounds over the past couple of months. Well, past like six, seven, eight months. And yeah, I'm, I, I got to do better because I'm feeling it. <laughs> so the intermittent fasting, that, that didn't really work for me. But I think following a meal plan and, you know, um, you know, having eaten maintenance calories and not exceeding, just watching, kind of watching what I eat. I feel like that'll be a little bit more beneficial as opposed to trying to do some crazy diet. I want something that's going to last long term as opposed to you know, just kind of quick fixes because you always gain that weight back. At least I do anyway. But, um, yeah, of course I plan on moving a little bit more hydrating, but the biggest goal there is to, um, establish a, rut a routine for sure. I want to establish, establish a daily routine as it pertains to just fitness and making time for things that I need, like cooking for myself and, like personal time as well as being productive in my business and making sure that I'm um, setting aside time to actually film for YouTube so I can continue to grow here because I want to make YouTube a stream of income for myself. You know what I mean? So, and I love creating the content that I'm creating. And so I want to, I want to be able to do that for a while. So I just got some goals I need to map out and I feel like a routine will absolutely help me with that. But anyway, to keep this a little bit shorter because I'm running out of footage right now. <laughs> if you like this video, then you know what to do. Scroll down the page, find the subscribe button, click that. Also click the bell icon right beside it. That way you can be notified every time I upload a new video. And I promise I got some uploads coming. I'm sorry for last month, but I got some coming. Um, but yeah, click that bell icon so you can be notified whenever I post. Um, and also check out the description box. There you'll find links to everything that I mentioned here. You'll find links to my social media. That way you can follow me everywhere that I am and I do follow back. And and if you like this video, then I'm sure you have a friend somewhere that's going to like the video. So tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend. If you want to know how to support the channel, share my content. That is supporting my channel.
But anyway, you guys, until next time, I'm out. I hope you guys enjoyed this plan with me video. And don't forget to drop a comment and let me know what type of plan with me content you like so I can try to deliver and see what performs the best and see what you guys resonate with. But anyway, again, until next time. Bye.